for fun with Mr. G. Hi everybody, Mr. G here, and I wanted to share something with you. I grow a whole bunch of different types of plants out in my garden. This particular plant is called a mimosa plant. Mimosa. It can also be called a sensitivity plant, and it's known for its rapid plant movement. Watch. I'm going to pull you in a little bit closer. You probably hear my beagle back there chasing rabbits or squirrels barking away. But watch what happens when I touch the mimosa plant, when it's disturbed. This is real time, folks. There's no trick photography here. Watch this leaf. This will be interesting. Watch. Look at that. Look how it closes up. Isn't that amazing? And watch, the entire stems on these two, if they're touched in the right way, look at that. The whole stem tends to look like it dies. Look at that. There it goes. And before you know it, it looks like your entire plant is dead. Amazing. Just the slightest touch, too. It doesn't take a lot to do this. There you go. There's one left, left open over here. Let's see what we can do with that. Look at that. Look at that. Now the whole plant looks like it's died. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll show you this same plant in about 30 minutes. Well, there's our mimosa plant after about, it's actually only been about 15 minutes. It's not completely reopened, but it's very close. Now there is something also that I find very peculiar about this particular plant. It does flower, by the way, as well. One of the peculiar, yeah, if I can talk, one of the most peculiar things about this plant is the wind can blow across it, and it doesn't seem to affect it. You can actually watch the leaves being blown by the wind right now, and they really, they never close up due to wind. However, it is sensitive not just to touch, but vibration. Watch. Look at the leaves closing up. Look at that just from a little vibration. So what I find out is that if I move the pot and vibrate it, the plant closes. If the wind blows the plant, it stays open. It puzzles me to wonder how it knows the difference. Well anyway, that's just for fun with Mr. G. Thanks for watching!